There's a phrase that I often return to from President William Preston Few's inaugural address. Our goal must be to keep the good that has come to us from out of the past and adjust it to the conditions and the needs of the present to create a shining place made strong by the courage to seek the truth and the conviction to live it. President Fuse spoke these words just over a century ago. Within a few years, and with no shortage of courage and conviction, he would partner with James B. Duke on an outrageously ambitious project to build a university out of the traditions and history of Trinity College. The first hundred years of Duke's existence is a stirring testament to their success. Whether through our future leaders that we train in our classrooms, through the discoveries we make in our labs, the innovative partnerships we forge in our region, or our alumni community's service to the world, we are carrying on their rich legacy of a living commitment to the truth. And as we turn together toward our own exciting future, just five years away from Duke Centennial, it's with the same courage and conviction that we boldly state our own ambitions, that Duke will become nothing less than the great university for the next hundred years. As the next great university, Duke will put people first, empowering an ever more diverse and truly exceptional community of scholars who will grapple with the world's most pressing challenges. Second, we will redefine teaching and learning, engaging advances in technology and the power of interdisciplinary team-based and problem-focused teaching to better prepare students for a changing world. The next great university will also cultivate a strong, healthy, and inclusive community of learners and doers, an example of mutual respect in a divided world. Fourth, we will seek new opportunities for creative partnerships that can support our neighbors and help our region thrive. And perhaps most importantly, as the next great university, we will engage our global network of alumni and friends in a Duke without walls, extended over space and time investing continuously in developing ourselves and each other to reach our full potential to advance humankind. A century after his inauguration, President Few could scarcely have imagined just how successful this university has been. But I think he would have been pleased that we find ourselves on the cusp of another period of transformation, as profound as that which awaited him those decades ago. For ours is an institution that has been ambitious from day one. And as our success has grown, our ambition has just grown apace. I want to make sure that that spirit is not only retained, but magnified in the years to come. And just as President Few and James B. Duke courageously built the Duke we have always been, I invite you to join me in turning toward the extraordinary Duke we are destined to become.